I'm in the center of Madrid. This is crazy. Every year on a Sunday in late October, the city of Madrid is transformed from a busy cosmopolitan city to a pastoral scene. So we're very close to Puente del Rey. We are now going to see flocks of sheep flowing here and going to the city in Madrid. This is going to be crazy. So let's go before it's too late. What is going on? Entering the city right now. Three hours walking with them. Still can't believe it's real. In the center of Madrid. All the press in Spain, they are here right now filming this event. Last year this was cancelled due to the pandemic, so we have more people than ever today. Can't believe we are in the middle of Cibeles with the flocks of sheep and goats for four to five hours. They just make all the way to the city of Madrid. And very soon, we're gonna have a symbolic toll because that's how it used to be centuries ago. And that's right, every year a nominal fee is paid in exchange for the safe passage. I'm in the center of Madrid, this is crazy. And the lovely flock is waiting for the payment to take place and then continue the journey. Six, seven kilometers walking with them. We are passing Alcala. What a day. What a six hours. What a day indeed. But now it's time to clean and eat a healthy meal. Apparently the best churros in Madrid and hot chocolate. I guess we'll see. It doesn't look like, but I'm actually excited. This is the most famous churreria in Madrid. Hot chocolate and churros. Apparently you have to queue up for hours, but today we were lucky. I stepped in in very uncomfortable excrement all the way. After walking eight kilometers with these flocks of sheep, I think I can eat one. <laughs> In any case, they gave me 12, so maybe I will eat two today. This is probably a lot of oil. Okay from time to time, but uh, every day or even every week, this can be very heavy. But in any case, it was delicious. Too many people today because of course it's Sunday and people are outside. So we are the ones enjoying the metro. Exhausted. But never too exhausted to keep exploring places. So what if we fly over Madrid? The cable car has 80 cabins that each fit six passengers, but during COVID, of course, less people. Monumental buildings, highways, parks and gardens are at your feet, offering one of the most evocative views of the city. So this is last in... 11 minutes approximately. As you can see, pretty much all forest. Fantastic views of Madrid and then we can see some iconic buildings as well. 
another way of seeing Madrid. That is it, really. This was such a fun ride. I think I'll keep coming back here as the views are simply stunning. But let's meet up Christina again and go to the latest place of my day. This is an Egyptian temple dating back to the second century BC here in the center of Madrid, donated to Spain by the Egyptian government to save it from flood. I think it's more impressive to see that amount of people. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of my day and I keep thinking of this. There are so many beautiful places in the world and Madrid has so much to offer. If we can stay away from stereotypes, then we can see another Madrid, or perhaps the real Madrid, this fascinating city in Spain. Too many romantic people here. <laughs> so we're having a date. <laughs> yeah. But we came here for the Egyptian temple. Which we were not able to enter.